Now, I'm basically an abstract artist, and the other series that I'm working on, the Saddlehorn series, is very abstract. This one is, even though if you saw it, you would recognize the place, it's really about these shapes, and it, uh, it is abstract, and I like <laughs> Uh, because it reminds me of Diebenkorn, who's one of my favorite artists. These paintings are sort of a combination of Edward Hopper and Diebenkorn and me. <laughs> this painting is a good example of one of the things I was going after in this series and that is the lights and darks. You can see the, the subtle detail within the light areas here, and from a distance you notice the areas of dark with the tree. And um, in all of these paintings, I'm trying to see the shapes, the forms of lights and darks and how they relate to each other. This painting of the barn and the silo and the shed, you can see the shapes. When I started each of these paintings, I would start by painting in the shape of the sky with a very large brush and then the shape of the buildings, um, light, and darks. In this case, it was mostly white with a little yellow ochre and a little bit of black. And the colors that you see, of course, because of the Zorn palette, there's really no blue and there's no green. They just look blue and green because of the, the colors that they're next to, excuse me, and the contrast. I love this silo, and you'll see it in a lot of these pictures from different angles and in different light. This one has a real strong contrast which um, makes it very appealing. I think it really works. Um, <clears throat> I guess that it wasn't the original silo. I was reading online that there was one before this. This is still a very old silo, and it's made of wood that had, I assume, grain. I, I hear, I read that they had percherons um, in the stables, in the bar, in the barn below this. Um, if you go down the steps uh, from this room, you go down into an area where you can see the stalls and they used to have the horses. There are lots of views of this little cottage, the manager's house, which is actually the second manager's house built in the 1940s. It's currently being restored with furnishings and appliances that would have been from the 1940s. And outside right now, there is a victory garden. Um, this, is, this is one angle of the house. And I've done quite a few of, of that little house. It's beautiful. Some of the acreage out in the back of the property has been sold. Um, but it, it's still there, and you still get a feel of what it was like when it was more open here. This particular piece of equipment was a horse-drawn wagon that uh, was barrel-bottomed and carried gravel for the building of the initial roads here in the Grand Valley. I like the shape of the sky here and uh, these crazy angles. They've been using pieces of this wagon to repair other things. But and the, the colors are interesting. It's kind of greenish inside. 
was an old stump there with wildflowers. Here's another painting that was dictated by the weather. This is the, the pig shed and the corral at the back of the barn. And I painted it from the shelter of a kind of overhang shack where they store tools. But um, it was kept me dry. Here's another painting that is of the Uinta Railroad equipment. And it shows um, the Zorn palette with this illusion of blue and illusion of green uh, contrasted with the red. This uh, red is more saturated than most of the colors in this series. Most of the reds are more subdued, but those cars are really bright red, and it really shows off these dull greens, these unsaturated grayish greens.